Hello, I am Igor Alcantara, Director of Education and Data Science at IPC Global University. And in this video, I'll show you a few examples of integration between a Click Cloud Analytics application and Python. Be aware, these are not the only examples or the only ways to connect Click Cloud Analytics to an external um, statistical machine learning language such as Python. There are other ways, this is just a few examples. For this demonstration, I am using the Framingham Heart Study uh, dataset. I'm using a small sample dataset with uh, only a little over 4,000 participants. They were interviewed um, through the course of three periods, um, six years apart from one another. It is a simple dashboard. There's no Python involved in here. In this box here, you will see that we are doing a t-test hypothesis testing, which is something we can do using click functionalities. But for some people, it requires a little bit of a data modeling work, and some people just prefer the, to do that in another language, just like Python, for example. This is one way we can interact. In this case, we're doing through the, the scripting language, click scripting language, interfacing with Python and performing the hypothesis T testing. This is one way that we we'll explore now. There are different ways we could do that. We could perform that using a click automation uh, batch tasks that will basically take and do the hypothesis testing for us. And then we could present here, there is a way there is a way we can add custom Python code in a click automation. But I choose for this demo to do something different. So I've created an AWS Lambda function. And once I created my Lambda function, I chose Python as the language. We have other options of languages. I chose Python. And then I basically had to create a function uh, where I will receive my parameters and my parameters, the parameters that I that I defined that I want to receive are basically the control group values and the test group values. And then I'll simply perform a simple uh, t-test uh, and then I'll return uh, what is the t-value, what is the p-value and how many degrees of freedom uh, were used to calculate a test. And basically, it's a simple Python um, code. You see that it's very um, small. Uh, only one thing is that if you need a specific libraries in AWS that uh, you need to install, uh, you need to use the sub-process uh, library uh, in order to install it. Uh, the Lambda functions, they expire after uh, the, the expiration uh, time, so the execute and then they expire, so they're not kept in memory. So it, it has to recreate this process every time they call it, which is uh, not a big deal. I created this Python function here, and then I defined the way to access API key so I can access in a secure way. Um, I define uh, an endpoint, etc., and then. In Click, I simply had to create uh, a REST API call, and then basically I call from my script. So this is calling that Lambda function in AWS, passing my control and test data in a JSON format, and getting it back and displaying in my Click data module and in my Click interface. This is one way of doing it. But um, some other people prefer to do things uh, a little different. Some people would like to actually write uh, a Python notebook, getting data from Click, doing some processing, and then sending data back. So I've created this uh, tab here where I only have di diabetic patients. I've decided um, to get a subset of those participants of Brain Heart Heart Study, just patients with diabetes. Those are 338 patients. Uh, these are the, the, the values I have. So these are objects in my Click application. These are uh, tables, KPIs, uh, box plots, etc. However, there's one thing that I could 
easily calculate in Click, but I decided just to have fun calculate in Python, which is the, what we call the risk score, the frame hunt risk score, which is the based on these uh, patients' data, participant data, what is the risk of them to um, developing um, cardiovascular disease in the next 10 years. So there's a risk score that we can calculate for every single patient, but I decided to calculate in Python. So there is multiple ways you can do it, um, and I'm using uh, just two ways here. So this is a basically a Jupyter Notebook that I'm running, I was running in Python, and Basically, for some of the tasks, I'm using a library called Pi2Click, um, and this library is freely available. And the uh, Pi2Click basically allows you, if you provide, of course, it's secure. You need to provide an API key that is attached, linked to your user, so it has your um, security uh, um, associated to it. So you basically use that API key. Uh, and then you can open a click application. Every click application comes with an ID, which is what we can see here. That's a click application ID. Also, each object has, um, so if I take, for example, this number of mates, each object, if I right click here and then go to share, and then I can go to embed, you see there is an object ID right here. Each object inside an application also has an object ID. So I can use those properties here. So that's the number of participants. Uh, this is the total number of participants and then males and females. So I can use those object IDs. So then I can uh, go to the application that I've just connected in this line. And then I can get those KPI values. And that's what I'm showing right here. Uh, total participants, uh, this number with diabetes, this number of men and women. Um, and I also can use the same logic to get like tables. So this is a table that is right here in my application. Um, this is this table right here. And I'm reading that table in Python, getting all the data. And once I read that table in Python, that table now, it's a data frame object in Python. So I can do anything I want using Python functionalities. So then let's just decide to have some fun. Let's calculate the risk score. It's a very simple calculation. Again, we can easily do, and we've done it uh, for some of our customers, calculate this risk score and all the risk score in Click. No problem, easy. Uh, but I decided just for the lack of this presentation to do it in Python, calculated everything. And just because I'm in Python, let's now do some Python plotting, uh, et cetera. And then now, you know, we have fun already. Let's send the data back to Click. So there's multiple ways we could do it. I decided to do it as a batch process. So I'm creating a CSV file, and then now I'm using a second methodology to uh, connect Python, and it could be other languages, to Click. I'm using the Click Cloud API. Um, there is a, a vast documentation on how to use different objects. You can do a lot of things like uh, accessing application uh, resources, just like we're doing through that um, library. Um, or you can use uh, access spaces, you can access uh, scheduling task collections, etc. So I, des I decided to get the space, I want to save this information, and then upload the file to the space. And then um, that file, that data is sent back here and this chart that you see in, it displays data, the risk score that was calculated in Python. So we then, we have click as the central piece and we can have this all these other technologies communicating with this. And when I say all these other technologies, it could mean any other technology that has an API uh, connectivity available. Another thing that I did here was that I got a summary of these KPIs, I generated a text, and then based on a template that I have preset with an avatar, with a character, I created an artificial intelligence generated video that basically was saying the text that I'm providing here. And this is a very simple example. We could do things more complicated than that, 
but that's basically uh, if I uh, I'll, if I click here, then you see I'll show you um, artificial uh, intelligence video that was just created, and those basically are some ways that we can do. We can connect to um, natural language processing technologies like OpenAI, ChatGPT, Hugging Face. We can connect with Python, with R, with anything that we want using Click as the integration piece. Now, let me click here so we can see a, a bit short of the video. But before that, if you have any questions or you, if you want to discuss any partition ideas for projects or needs in your company, contact us at ipcglobal, ipc-global.com. Hello there. This is the Framingham Heart Study Dashboard. I am an AI-generated avatar, and I am here to present you the summary statistics of this study. The total number of participants of the study is 4,434. 338 participants were diagnosed with diabetes, 160 males, and 178 females. The average age of participants is 60 years old. A risk score for coronary heart disease was calculated for the participants with diabetes. The average score is 1%. Three participants have a score of 15% or higher of getting coronary heart disease within 10 years. This is what I have for today. If you have more questions, please contact our data science team. Goodbye.